video, I am going to be getting ready to film a lot of other videos. So this makeup is my go-to makeup. I need to get ready to film um, a couple of TikTok videos and I also need to do an update on my Instagram stories and I like to wear makeup for those things. So I'm gonna be using products that are tried and true that I love to use. Challenging myself to do what I can because it is 444. The first thing I wanna do is take some of my Fenty Gloss Balm and I'm gonna use this as this is the Fenty Glow Color. If you've watched any of my other videos, you already know I use this product, but I'm using it right now just to moisturize my lips because the product is so good. I don't just use it for a lip gloss. I also use it for moisturizing my lips sometimes. That's that, and then what I really wanna do is put on some moisturizer. This is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream Moisturizer. Kind of expensive, but completely worth it. Um, it's like about 60 bucks at Sephora. I don't need so much. It's actually kind of warm today in Los Angeles. I haven't used this next product very much. Smashbox, the original, Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. The only place I actually really need this is on my eyelids. It's like, um, just like a silicone, you guys can't see that. It's just um, a silicone clear primer. I'm gonna put a tiny bit on my forehead, my cheeks where I get the most oily because I have oily skin. It is late in the day, but I'm gonna go ahead and drink this lovely, lovely looking cafe latte. I got this at a market somewhere in Torrance. Yeah, I messed it up. I put a hole in the straw. Shoot. So I'm back with my drink. This is this is not how it was supposed to be, but I put an ice cube in it. It's colder. It's actually good. If you like cafe latte and you've ever seen this, it's a tiny bit sweetened. Well, it's actually on the higher sweetened side for me because I don't like my drinks that sweet, but this is good. But I'm going to use a product that I've been talking about a lot lately and I've been loving. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Black Brown Eyebrow uh, product. Currently looking for the double-ended tool that comes with it. Fiddling. I'm actually new to the whole pomade business. I usually use a pencil. And then I'm not going to fill them in completely. I don't need that. I can disperse it with the brush spoolie side when I'm done. Nothing new there. Um, with my eyeshadow. <laughs> so funny I just said that because there's nothing new here either. It's the Frankie Rose Sienna Colored Blush. You guys, this is the prettiest natural brick red color ever. It, I guarantee you it's gonna look good on you if you get it, no matter what skin tone you are. I promise, if you use it right that uh, contour brush. This contour brush is like from a Forever 21 set so long ago. So I don't know what it's called. So I dip in there and I don't use a regular eyeshadow brush for this. You guys, I haven't done something like this in so long on camera. Yeah, this is how I get ready really, really fast. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see um, some of the finer details that I'm about to do. I'm taking the ABH Soft Glam Palette and my Wet n Wild crease brush that I absolutely adore. I use it every time I do my makeup, mostly. I'm taking this color right here. What is this called? Orange Soda here at the top. It's like a pastel orange color. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm going right on top of the brick red just to give myself like a faded gradient so it looks a little bit more flesh toned at the top of that brick red. Ooh, I left myself a very small amount of space, didn't I? It's still gonna work out. Gotta make sure to go into my inner sockets because my skin is oily. So if I leave nothing on the inner corner of the sockets of my eye, they tend to just shine. Like they take all of, all the attention just goes to the inner socket of my eye because it just gets shiny and that's so annoying. So I've gotta kind of flesh tone it. 
The gist of the eye is done. I'm gonna do the bottom, but I wanna make sure I get like my concealer and my eye brightener, like all those types of colors done first. I don't know if I, I told you guys this, but this is a Dunkin' Donut straw. <laughs> That's from the drink I had, was it yesterday? That is what my life is looking like. Um, I love Dunkin' Donuts. So let's go ahead and do my face. And so for my face, I'm gonna go ahead and put on, I don't really need a face primer today. I'm literally only gonna be filming for like the next four hours or something. But I'm gonna use one because I, um, I might be dancing on TikTok. <laughs> I'm making dance videos these days. So Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Fixing Spray. foundation I'm gonna use something I've been using a lot of lately this is the covergirl true blend matte made foundation oh that's what I didn't do I didn't wet my sponge oh my gosh okay let me just do this I think how many pumps do I do four let's do okay okay oh no my sponge I'll be right back I wet my sponge. This is the Equate sponge that I've been using um, a lot from Walmart. I was supposed to start early in the day and what happened? Why didn't I? I made breakfast. It was really good. I don't want any of our food to spoil so I took out like all the bell pepper we had and I made sure to cut up a lot of that and I put that in the oven right away first. Um, I cut it into like strips <clears throat> and I put it in the oven, well those, I put them in the oven on 325 for about maybe 25 minutes and I think I was like trying to do the dishes at the same time so I don't know I had a lot going on in the kitchen so I basically, is that roasting? No, it's baking the vegetables, I baked them. You're right roast so I roasted the vegetables for 25 minutes um, which was fine like everything was fine like everything was going at the pace I wanted it to go and that was about 8 30 this morning and then after breakfast I took a nap I like went to sleep and it was like probably I don't know like 11 a.m. I think I was there until like almost two hours ago I feel terrible saying this, like who's doing that in the middle of the day? I can't find my Wet n Wild contour stick, so I'm gonna use this, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the color Hazelnut. This color is so perfect. I really, really love it. It's so good. But if you're enjoying the video, please give me a thumbs up. I really would appreciate that. I decided to film this video last minute, like this isn't one of the videos I was gonna film. So I'm bronzed up now. And now I'm gonna move on to concealer. I'm just gonna use my Morphe Fluidity Concealer. I use it all the time. I love this concealer so much. Um, okay, so I also want to post on Instagram too. Today's April 1st. Let me know if you did an April Fool's joke. Let me know if you do April Fool's jokes or pranks or anything like that. I don't know. I don't think far enough in advance for it. Wanna, my color is still there in this whole area. I just wanted to brighten like under my eyes a little bit with that concealer. I'm gonna use my Kylie Yellow Brightening Powder. No, this is a setting powder. I don't think it's necessarily a brightening powder, but yellow does have the brightening effect. Now I'm gonna put my eyeshadow on the bottom there and I'm gonna use, and that's called Sienna in this palette so sienna is right here and i'm going to mix it with this darker color here and it that's called cypress umber and it's just going to make my bottom <clears throat> lashes look a little bit darker than the top and that's good because i don't know why but i have not been wanting to use a liner on the bottom and so if i just use a little bit darker of a shadow on the bottom then it kind of helps me not have to use so much of a liner. Oh, we didn't do the nose contour. <clears throat> I can use these same mix of colors on the nose too. 
sorry if this tutorial is like really speedy. I'm trying to get a little bit faster anyway. I know I always upload like 20 minute videos and you guys probably wish they were a little bit shorter. All right, so I fixed the top of my brows. I think I'm also gonna do my hair with you guys. I'm gonna do like a full get ready with me for filming video. I'm gonna do my hair too. I don't normally do my hair like on camera. So before we do all the other stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with the Hydromat Fixing Spray by Revolution and cover the coffee. You guys, lately I've been wearing, here's the cartridge because I have to find the lashes. These are the Ardell Studio FX lashes. Getting them out of my lash jar because I have a jar full of lashes. Super spiky. Hey guys, I'm back. So I had to step away for just a second. So the bonus giveaway question for this video is, are you purchasing things online and which site are you using to purchase things online? Like, are you using Amazon? Are you buying online at Macy's or Sephora? Which stores are you shopping at? And if you haven't yet, tell me what purchase you've made since, you know, the whole isolation quarantine thing has started. Maybe you've decided to get Netflix. Maybe you've decided to, um, I don't know, get Amazon Prime and bump up your membership because you knew that you were going to be buying more things. Let me know where you guys are shopping online. Just leave the answer below in the comments. Here, and I'm using the same blush color, Sienna by Frankie Rose. And all these products, I'm gonna look for them and I'm gonna find them and put them in the description box so you guys can find them. I've been on my chin and yes, I'm putting blush on the top of my forehead, on my chin. Highlighter for filming, you guys, my go-to, Fainty Beauty Kilowatt Trophy Wife Highlighter. I use this all the time. If you really, really wanna get to know me, um, it would be nice to check out my TikTok videos because they're like, you know, up to one minute long and sometimes like I'll post like a video of me doing like a dance where I didn't get the dance perfect. I got it a little imperfect and I was just trying because to get a dance down it takes like a few hours <laughs> to learn it and to do it amazing but sometimes it just doesn't quite make it there but I have so much fun doing the TikTok video like filming it that I'll just go ahead and post that one um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my TikTok handle up here on the screen I would really appreciate that because I'm going to start posting over there and this you know in a YouTube video it's like 15 minutes long 20 minutes long 30 minutes long I'm literally sitting here as a talking head putting on makeup kind of like as a news anchor but I'm talking about makeup or whatever else I did that day but in a TikTok video you get to see more of my personality so please follow me there at Cami Stevenson IRL and I plan to be posting a lot more there a little bit on my nose oh my goodness this highlighter is amazing and it comes in other colors guys you know what I think the whole quarantine thing has turned me nocturnal like I'm doing everything way later in the day than I normally would I, I even had a coffee later in the day like I usually try not to drink a coffee after 3 p.m. because it makes me a tiny bit anxious if I do that and then I'll be up until at least like midnight and I'll be like oh I wish I could sleep I wish I could sleep and then I can't because I had that coffee after 3 but I have a lot of things I need to do and <clears throat> I actually have something to do very early tomorrow morning <laughs> This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I used it on my lashes just below the false lashes. But um, yeah, I really wouldn't have it any other way right now. I like um, working from home and stuff. How many of you guys are nocturnal? <laughs> like forget quarantine, forget isolation. How many of you prefer to work at night? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm usually a morning person. That's why this is a big deal. That's why I'm saying it. The NYX Matte Lip Liner. This is the Downtown Beauty NYX Lip Liner. So I'm just gonna line it in this brown here. And then I've been using this Wet n Wild Rose and Slay color. It's this like nude pink. It's like basically the color of my lips. But yeah, so I wanna film 
let's see what did I look like in those videos so what happened is I filmed a couple of TikTok videos before and I like them but I need to like film another one kind of similar so I need to make my hair kind of like it was in that video okay I need to work on my like um my whoa thing it's like yeah I just I think it was on this side and yeah it was on this side so it was like a side braid and I had my gold scrunchie at the bottom so let's do that this is how I was looking the other day um, more or less I'm gonna take a bobby pin I hope that you either learned something, found a new product that you're interested in. Alright guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Filming this video was totally impromptu today. Four hours ago, I did not know that I was going to be doing this. Again, most of the products, I'm going to find them online and link them down below in the description box for you. So you can check them out there. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget, if you want to hang out with me a little bit more, go ahead and follow me on TikTok. I will be uploading on this account very soon. I'm so excited to do so you guys I'm so so excited it's Cami Stevenson IRL so I'll be seeing you in my very next video I love you so much bye